A Ukrainian armed forces soldier, defender of Golovka with the call sign Sheikh Yevgeny Yevlev, answered the question in an interview for the YouTube channel Fabrika Novosti whether the Russian Federation can open a new front based on the situation that is currently observed in Belarus. Let us recall that Lukashenko has pulled troops to the border with Ukraine. We really hoped that the Russians would see a decrease in the number of personnel they called up, but unfortunately, this is not happening in the Donbass in our direction, even despite the opening of the Kursk front, Ievlev said. Therefore, it is very difficult to predict whether they can open something new. We have no idea at all what they have with their reserves. According to the military man, the covert mobilization in the Russian Federation has been going on and is still going on. The enemy has no personnel deficit and based on this, anything can be expected from him. But from another point of view, which is supported by specific facts, the Russians are not in a very good situation with their personnel. In particular, they had to pull a certain number of reserves from the Zaporizhia direction. I think that right now, the probability of opening a new front or crossing the northern border by Russian troops is unlikely, the Ukrainian Armed Forces soldier noted. In addition, Yevlev emphasized that it is too early to assess the Russian offensive in Donbass. The situation with Pokrovsk and Mirnograd should be seen. I really want to believe that this is the peak of their capabilities and they are doing everything with their last breath, the serviceman said. Belarus has been a key ally to Moscow and supported Russian aggression against Ukraine, though it has not committed its own troops directly to hostilities. Russian forces launched an attempted invasion of Kyiv from Belarus in early 2022, but suffered a defeat and were forced to pull back. Kyiv has not officially requested Belarus to withdraw its troops from the border, the Belarusian foreign ministry has said amid more tensions between the two states. Minsk's statement came after the Ukrainian foreign ministry said that Belarus was concentrating a significant number of forces at the Belarus-Ukraine border. The Ukrainian foreign ministry also said that former Wagner Group mercenaries were present at the border with Ukraine and warned Belarusian officials against committing tragic mistakes under Moscow's pressure. The open-source monitoring project Belarusian Hajun reported that Belarus transferred around 1,000 troops to its border with Ukraine after Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko claimed his military had downed Ukrainian drones in Belarusian airspace. Belarusian Hajun instead linked the deployment to Ukraine's ongoing incursion into Russia's Kursk Oblast, where Kyiv's forces claim to control around 1,200 square kilometers of Russian territory. In Belarus, aviation has been used for the first time to shoot down a Russian Shahed drone. The drone once again entered Belarusian airspace during a Russian attack on Ukraine, according to the monitoring group Belaruski Hayun. On August the 29th, during yet another Russian attack on Ukraine, one of the Shaheds once again flew into Belarusian territory in the Yelsk district, the report said. According to the monitoring group, after the Shahed entered Belarusian airspace, a fighter jet of the Belarusian Air Force chased the intruder for about 20 minutes and in the Yelsk district of the Gomel region, at least two explosions were heard and a bright flash was observed in the sky. This is likely the first recorded instance where a Belarusian Air Force fighter attempted to destroy an actual military target in the sky, a Russian Shahed Kamikaze drone, the report added. Russian forces continue to attack Ukraine using both drones and missiles. Recently, it has become more common for Russian Shaheds to enter Belarusian territory during strikes on Ukraine. The first such incident occurred on July the 12th, followed by similar cases on July the 13th, 16th and 31st. According to previous calculations by Belaruski Hayun, at least nine Shaheds entered Belarus in July. Until now, Belarusian forces had only scrambled their jets in response but had not used them. An increased number of Russian troops have been stationed in Belarus, which is considered Russia's closest ally since Lukashenko asked Russia for military assistance following the outbreak of protests after the August 2020 presidential elections, which Lukashenko is widely believed to have stolen. Recently, Alexander Lukashenko announced that the country had moved around a third of its forces to the border with Ukraine, but Lukashenko blamed Ukraine for the sharp escalation in tensions. He accused Ukraine of aggressive policies and of sending more than 120,000 soldiers to its border with Belarus on August the 18th. The next day, Belarus announced that it sent aircraft 
air defense forces and armory to the Ukraine border. Defense Minister Viktor Krenin said Belarus was ready for retaliatory action if Ukrainian soldiers entered its territory. But Ukraine has rejected the Belarusian allegations. It denied Lukashenko's claim that Kyiv had sent 120,000 soldiers to the border. Ukrainian foreign minister said it has never taken and is not going to take any unfriendly actions against the Belarusian people.